Biarogaba, who carries a wealth of experience in managing financial business, believes the pension sector in Uganda has a lot of potential that has not been fully utilized. The statistic that, that always um, kills um, me and a lot of other people is, is the fact that there is only 6% of savings in, uh, in this country. And considering that uh, that 6% also helps people when they are going to retire, uh, obviously there is still quite a lot of potential to, to, to do. The civil society say that though Bialhanga's appointment is timely and strategic, there are several challenges that need to be addressed, especially the existing gaps in the legislation. There is no clear provision on who does what in order to provide checks and balances that are important for an institution of its stature. Workers' representatives say the new leadership should avoid the risk of falling in political traps but advised that concentrating on investment decisions will grow the institution. He should avoid uh, leaning so much on the politicians because if he does not avoid that, he will definitely fall in the same mistake. Our worry is that whether he has been appointed of merit or he has been imposed. It doesn't matter what sort of political pressure you get, so long as you're giving value to the organization and to the savers, because they are the most important people, uh, the people that uh, actually own the money. Richard Biarugaba has held various positions at Standard Chartered Bank, former Nile Bank, Barclays Bank, and recently Global Trust Bank. Michael Baleke, NTV Tonight.